Good morning, I'm Ray. And I'm Quincy, and these are your Friday announcements. As the year progresses, there will be a lot more cars in the lot, and you know what that means? Hard to leave at the end of the day? No, I mean, you are right, but I was referring to the fact that with more cars, there will be more requests for passes. Car passes? What is that? Let's explain with a brief video. Okay, class, time to take out your homework now, please. Oh, shoot, I forgot my homework in my car. Did you say you left something in your car? Maybe you need a car pass for that. How do I get one of those? Well, the VPO is going to check if your car is already registered, and if not, you have to register it. It's easy. All you need is your vehicle registration card, your insurance card, and your driver's license. Is that going to take super long, though, and be really difficult? No. It's super quick and painless. Just see Miss Cruz in the VPO door number one. Go. Go get your car pass. I woke up in a new Bugatti. I woke up in a new Bugatti. I woke up in a new Bugatti. Now I understand. All I need now is a car. And all the paperwork that goes along with it. And now, a word about a climate change survey. Hey Bucks, starting March 20th, make sure to take this climate change survey at your study hall. Your study hall should have received an email from Mr. Hussey with this information. If not, make sure to contact Mr. Hussey via email or his room number is 344. That sounds very important, so please check it out and complete it. I agree, and now a word from our new sponsors. Greetings from Culinary World. I'm your host, Michael Ibrahim, and today we'll be doing something very, very nice. Something very classic, something very simple, something that you've all probably had before. Pasta! Simple, cheap, easy, delicious. One of the greatest classic American and Italian foods that you could have on the market. But we'll see now who is going to win this episode of Culinary World. to see who wins. Me either. You know what else I can't wait for? What? The Roman Report assignment, which is up next. Let's see what they say. If you could be any animal, what animal would you be? A killer whale, because they're cool and big and strong, like me. I would be a lion. Why? Because they're beasts and they are kings of the jungle. If I was an animal, I'd be a dinosaur because they're so big and old. Gorilla because they're mighty and strong. I want to be a dolphin because they're really smart and they're good swimmers. Giraffes because they have long necks. Cat because I believe they sleep 19 hours a day and they just get up to play and, and eat. A golden retriever because they have so much energy. Probably a bird because I like birds. Probably a black cat. Uh, I'd probably be a frog. Why? Because I like frogs. If I could be any animal, I'd probably be a cat because they are aloof. But when they want to be, they can be very sweet. <laughs> but they will fight. Um, I think I'd be a gazelle. How come? <laughs> because they're very graceful and I'm like graceful too and happy. So. <laughs> um, I'd be a giraffe. And why? Because I'm really tall. <laughs> what animal would you pick? A dolphin because they're graceful. What's yours? I'd probably pick a bald eagle because they can fly. And with that, we're out of here. Have a nice weekend, Bucks. Bye, Bucks. <laughs>